Hello and welcome back. Today I'm going to try and cut a ball, a copper ball, out of this 32mm copper bar stock. But first I need to cut it and I think I found an easier way. I had this all the time in the drawer. Oh, much better. <laughs> that saves a lot of time. Right, let's go over to the lathe. Just had a thought before I go over to the lathe, I need to drill a hole in the copper bar to attach it to the mandrel, ready for ball turning. But it's a devil to drill, it's really grabby. So I have invested some 135 degree tipped fancy bits, as you can see there. But, but now, as you can see, I've just broke the edge on that. I need to break the edge on the other side, stop it being as grabby. Just turn it from a positive to a neutral. He says. Yeah, it's broke it. It's probably not making great television this, but I think it'll make all the difference. Right, so no one wants to find out, just give it a go. It's either going to work or I've just ruined a perfectly good bit. <laughs> I've slowed it down a bit to see what happens. too bad at the moment, so a slow speed and a 135 degree drill bit backed off on the sharpening stone seems to work really well, better than I was expecting. This is the first time I've threaded copper. It's a little bit grabby, but as long as you don't turn too far, get too far ahead of yourself, it's not too bad. Yeah, definitely don't get too far ahead of yourself. Little baby steps. I think that might be nearly ready now. Cool, right let's move on. 
Okay, we're nearly ready to do some ball cutting. We just need a ball cutter. I'm not going to use a large one today because it's set up for a different process. I'm going to use a smaller one which I made a few years ago. Some of you might have seen it. And I made it out of two lifting eyes. That's what happens when you've got too much time on your hands. <laughs> It looks apart anyway. And I've just ground this down. I don't know if you're going to see it very well. I'm going to give this tip a go to see how we get on. As you notice, every side's different. That's called grinding in the dark. It's, just, it's, my, own, it's my own design. <laughs> Let's see what happens. This is Copper Ball Test Cut number one of a thousand. <laughs> Well, it's looking pretty rough and chewed up, so back to the drawing board on that one.
enough. That'll do. Well, it looks shiny and it looks like a ball. Well, a slightly egg shaped ball. I think I know where I went wrong. Just need to adjust the ball cutter. But it doesn't really matter. I'm not doing it for a living, I'm just doing it as a hobby. In fact, that shape might lend itself to what I'm making. It could possibly be the end of a ray gun. Let's just have a look at the original bar stock and let's see how much I've lost. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, it's slightly smaller. Not too much. I probably took an eighth off more messing about. But I don't mind that. Like I said, it's just the first go. But generally, it's not turned out too bad. I wonder if you could do an indent in that. A convex indent. I'll have a look at that next. I quite like a convex cut on top of that. Mmm. Thanks for viewing and come back again. Oh. I'll have to clean that shoulder up. I think that'll do.